Hey, how's it going everybody? Thought I'd try something a little different with the channel and share my process of this guy right here. So, here goes. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is start off with our head. Kind of get a rough idea of what we're going to be laying out here. And go into the trunk. And we'll move into the ears. You have nice big flowing ears with some battle scars eventually. He's going to be an elephant warrior so we don't want him looking too happy. And the next thing is to kind of figure out the weight distribution so we want to make him as chunky as possible. We'll give him a big old belly here in a second. But once we get all that figured out then we start working on the actual pose and size of this guy. haven't quite figured out yet what kind of weapon we're going to give him yet. Just kind of getting the, the pose down, get the hands positioned, work our way into the legs, and this goes into that weight distribution. We want to be able to get his body mass centered over these legs, so they got to kind of be a little sprawled out, give him a little bit more of an action pose stance. Give him a bigger belly, a little weight hanging over. And again, this is just kind of a rough idea. We're probably going to rework this. Work in the tusks. So already I can see there's a little bit of a tangent going on, so we're going to move this arm. Kind of get some separation in there from the tusk to the hands. And then get a better feel of what this pose is going to end up being. And we're going to work in the weapons. Kind of thought about a spear at first, but I was thinking, nah, we'll do axes. So we'll kind of work those in. Get the feet just right. And this leg over here is probably going to have to move along with the arm. Kind of rework it. Kind of get him a little bit more separated. Better battle stance. And again we're already running out of room so we're probably going to have to resize him here a little bit. So extend this leg down. It's looking fairly the way I want it, so get the other tusk in there. So now that we're getting kind of a better idea of where this pose is going to go, kind of just reshape things, get a better definition of everything, how it's going to flow, work in the legs a little bit more, give him a tail, and we're going to resize him, lower the opacity, and then make a new layer so we can kind of give the lines, the hands, finer details like that, more definition. So while we're working in the finer details, I'll go over some of the brushes that I've been using. Um, I started the sketch with uh, the stock 6B pencil brush, and once I go into the finer lines, I start using my modified technical pen. Uh, which is also another stock brush. Um, you can find the settings that I use in one of my previous videos called Smooth Lines. And I'll go ahead and just leave the link for that video in the description below so you guys can check that one out if you want. So because this is kind of an in-between stage that I do, um, we're going to re-ink over top of these lines with uh, final black lines. So I'll go ahead and speed up the process on this to save you guys a little bit of time. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, we got a better understanding of what we want the finished piece to look like. So what I'm going to do now is make a new layer, and we're going to get rid of our original sketch layer, and then we're going to lower the opacity on our red lines. So we can ink over top of those. Alright, so here we are at the end, final stage. Uh, I'm just going to be going through with the technical pen once again, and just cleaning up all the line work. So if you guys want to watch me... Uh, finish this piece up, I'll turn on some music and uh, sit back and enjoy.
hey thanks for watching hope you guys like the video if you guys want to see more stuff like this in the future just let me know down below in the comments and until next time i'll see you again soon